Hey guys, what's up? It's me, I'm back. I'm home from work. It's my Friday, I'm in my room, see? I'm just relaxing right now. I wanna do a quick video, really quick, before I go to bed. <laughs> and this is kinda like, it's kinda like um, personal. Like, really personal, but I've seen other, you know, YouTubers and stuff posting about my first time. And I don't want to go too, too, too into detail. But there have been pe a lot of people that have asked me about it. And <laughs> I just, like, I, I mean, I'm open. I'm open to it, you know? But I'm not gonna say with, like, I'm not gonna, like, give you, like, details as of who this person was. But it was somebody that I definitely was involved with for some time. Somebody that I kind of had a history with. And we kind of waited it out. So, um, he's, if he's watching this, um, no offense. But that's, like, that's old. Like, that's past. And as long as I don't give out your information, then it's all good. So, this person was like 10 years older than me. And we lived like states away, but we were talking through a mutual friend. And I never thought anything of it. Like, I never thought, you know, that anything would happen between us. So, until like it actually happened. So... <laughs> Uh, I hope my mom's gonna probably watch this and everybody else is gonna watch this and everybody else is gonna know. My mom's gonna know. But oh well. This was years ago. This was like 10 years ago. Cause now I'm 30 and this happened when I was 20. I think I had just like turned 20. No, I might have been going on 21. So this person, you know, I was living in New York at the time. I came back here where my mom is living in Kansas. <clears throat> and I came back for a visit for like maybe a week if even that so I came back and then like I got stuck through like in the Detroit airport overnight and it was the worst night ever I'm telling you I had no money I didn't even eat that day I was in a hurry I was trying to get to like the airport and then I got stuck there and it was just it was just all around horrible so I stayed the night in the Detroit airport I got back to um, Missouri and then I came to Kansas so as I was like in the middle of all this like chaos and stuff my friend at the time it was weird because I sent him an email and we got in contact and um, <laughs> um I got in contact with him and then we kind of made like a little joke of it or whatever and my phone was about to die about like me coming to visit him or whatever because he was like living in another state at the time so I mentioned it to my mom when I got back and she's you know my mom being adventurous and spontaneous as she is she's like well we should go see him and I'm like it's six hours away so she's like so who cares we'll just go so we went and then we drove, like, we took turns driving, like, six hours away. And so we got there. And <laughs> the first thing that, like, you know, like, we talked and stuff on the phone or whatever. I don't even think we ever video chatted or none of that. Because it was just, like, you know, it was just kind of weird at first. But I always liked him. And... I never thought, like, that would be the person who, but I always wondered, like, there has to come a time and day when I was younger. Like, I would wonder, like, who is going to be that person, you know, the first, first person. And it was him. And I never, you know, thought. But it's just, like, the way it happened. It was just, uh, like, like, I, I want to forget about it, but at the same time, it's unforgettable. Because it's like the worst. Like now that I'm older, now that I'm 30, and this was like over 10 years ago, it was just like, it could have been better. You know, like it could have been 
well planned, like thought out, whatever. It wasn't like it was just not good. And then actually, like, now that I think of it, it's just like, why did I do that? Like, I should have waited. Like, but I felt like stupid. I didn't want to be like the loser that was 20, going on 21, that was still a virgin, that never, you know, had a real boyfriend, that never done anything sexually with a guy. Um, I did kiss a guy, but <clears throat> that's another story. And this actually happened pretty quick. Like, don't judge me because this is somebody that I knew for a long time and I decided that I wanted to, but it just, you know, it just happened or whatever. It's like over like, uh, we had like five years before, well, we was out of contact for five years, but we did talk before that. And then it was like, it happened then off and on, off and on, off and on, you know, it was kind of a bad situation after that, but I mean... It is what it is, you know, and it just happened to be like in his friend's room, in his friend's bed. Yeah, that is not how you treat a lady, but he didn't have his own place. I didn't have, you know, money on me to go anywhere, to get a room like we should have. He should have fucking got a room. I mean, you know, more private, like you don't take a girl to your friend's house and just, you know. And then I didn't tell him, so then it was just all around bad. Like, it was horrible. Like, yeah, it was like, ow, <laughs> you know? And, yeah, like, it's just something that, like, I tell people this because sometimes people want to know, but it's so embarrassing. And I'm just like, it just happened, and it just happened to me at his friend's house while his friend was in the other room. Like, <laughs> it was bad, and I'm so embarrassed because I know, like, I have family that watch my videos. I have like people that know me, but I don't care. I don't care. You judge me or you want to, but I don't care. But <clears throat> see, the funny thing is I never told him, right? I never told him that. Um, I actually told him that I had a boyfriend at the time, which I didn't. I lied. Um, I told him that I have done it before, which I lied because I never did. And... I didn't know what to expect. It was uncomfortable. I was nervous. I was scared. I didn't know what to think. My mind was racing, but I'm like, this is the person that this is the person that I want to do this with because I know this person. I have a history with this person. Blah blah blah. So, um, it was like maybe a couple years. No, it was probably like five years. I don't even know. It was years later that I actually told him that you know. <clears throat> that like I lied about everything and then I ended up um <laughs> that he was the first person I've ever done anything with sexually so he was kind of surprised but I mean he did ask me at the time and I lied and I said I've done it before but I didn't you know I just lied because I'm stupid and I just pretty much ruined it for myself and made it uncomfortable the whole experience was uncomfortable and it was embarrassing and it was not my not the greatest memory because of me because of my decisions my poor choices and because I really thought that I liked this person or I love this person and I thought okay you know this is what it's gonna be but you know like your first time should be something that you know like you can like you know, not be so embarrassed about or whatever somebody asks you, but it is what it is, so. <sighs> That's it for this. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I know this video was a little long, but I'm going to try to cut it really short from now on. So, I am going to go to bed, and I'm going to enjoy my weekend, and I will be back with another video. If you guys have any requests, leave them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.